Failed K-pop social media influencer gives five hard life lessons. Brian here decided to follow his lifelong dream of building a social media empire for the Korean pop sensation BTS. He had lost his job in 2020 and decided that this was going to be the time to reinvent himself. So he sold out. He did everything he possibly could. He made all the wacky ideas. He went to trainings. He paid for all of these ideas to make money being a social media influencer. And he, the reason he did it for BTS is that he says their music pr promotes self-love. He said it was therapeutic in his time of need to hear their lyrics saying, just love yourself and everything will be fine. It's not. Brian crashed and burned even harder than he did before. Because not only did he sell his soul to social media, not only did he sell his soul selling out to try to get monetization and everything else, but self-love didn't provide. Self-love didn't pay the bills. Self-love didn't give him the comfort that he thought he was going to have. He needed something more and he would tell you, if you're going to look for something to make a life or a business on, don't make it on self-love because it's empty. I agree, Brian. That's why we look to God's word, Psalm 122. For the sake of my brothers and friends, I will say, peace be with you. These psalms in the 120s, these are the psalms of ascents, you would say, if you're going into worship or on the way to worship. That idea that gathering together with other people, your brothers, your sisters, your friends, and saying, peace be within you. That, that, that God's peace be given to you and you be given it back. Yeah, these words that we say in worship on Sunday mornings, that, that ancient history of saying God's peace be with you. Not, not the peace that comes by having a lot of money, not the peace that comes by making a record deal or getting some YouTube monetization. The peace that comes by going to God's house and knowing I am loved by him, not by me. I am loved by him. That is incredibly therapeutic. That is incredibly comforting. That is what gotten people through thousands of years of distress and suffering and job loss and pain. Not self-love, that's empty. God's love is full.